What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is episode 9 of our Alpha Sapphire Let's Play. So let's keep going, and uh, while I'm um, doing this, we're going to do a contest, and uh, I just want to ask you guys, thank you, or tell you guys, thank you so much for supporting me uh, on my journey in my, in my first ever Let's Play. So let's go right up to the, yeah, oh, I don't seem to have a contest pass. Uh, you might be able to get it from somebody. It's a huge place. Why don't you try sightseeing? Okay. So this tells me that I have not done everything there is to be done in Slateport. So I've definitely been everywhere on the left because that was the market. We came from the right. We've seen that. What have we not seen? We haven't seen this. This is new. When you sink a man-made object into the sea to make a habitat for Pokemon, it's called an artificial reef. We in Hoenn are well known for our reef. We call it Sea Mobile. Mm, okay, that's interesting. Got a little stuff going on here, a little mini crane. Cool, cool, great, great, good and fantastic. What's going on in this little sea shipyard over here? Hmm, if this goes here and that goes over there, and where does this thing go? And what about that doohickey? Arr, I can't make heads or tails of this. But I bet a ten-year-old boy can. Hmm, you? I'm sorry, I'm Doc. Captain Stern commissioned me to draw up some designs for a ferry. Oh, those parts you have, those are the Devon parts, but hmm, this won't do. I guess Captain Stern's probably off the Oceanic Museum again. Sorry, but can I ask you to go find the captain and give the parts to him? Yeah, you probably, yeah, you'd probably do that. You could probably do that. I think I could uh, get away with going to the museum. That's, uh, alright, there's no longer a line here, that's good. This is good. Uh, oh, hello, excuse me, please go through the reception. This is the reception. Welcome to the Oceanic Museum. The entrance is 50 poke yen. Yeah, alright. Enjoy the museum. Okay. Got a couple grunts here. I didn't have 50 poke yen, so it took a long time to get past the receptionist. You are a thief. I should report you to the authorities. We were told to assemble here, so we did, but... The most important lesson, blah, 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 blah. They exist for all Pokemon. Look at all these thugs, dude. I don't want to talk to all these guys. They're just enjoying the museum. I mean, none of them paid for it, but I mean, at least they're doing it. What's what's this? Model of the Hoenn region? It's a miniature diorama of the Hoenn region. Where is Little Root Town on this? We just moved to Little Root Town. Why do we even care? That's not even our home yet. We haven't even spent a single night in that bed. The SSA. A replica of the luxury liner that circles the grobe. globe. Globe? What's going on here? Video is playing of a guy with a wacky hairstyle who could be a scientist conducting an experiment with some sort of machine. Because of this, when you dive into the sea, you feel you don't wait. You feel discomfort in your ears. Oh, it's weird. It's like the ear bends. So, is there nothing? Is there really nothing up here? Whatever am I doing here? Honestly, uh, do I just need to speak to every single person? Aye, what are you doing here? Me, I'm the Team Aqua member you thumped before, remember? Here, take this. You have to forgive me. Alright. I'll forgive you for a TM-46. Ah, oh, darn it. You so screwed up our plans. I was gonna steal something to make up for it, but just you wait. You'll get yours one day. Interesting. Wait, what did that say? If our goon didn't bungle things up in Rustboro, we wouldn't be here. Okay. If I stole the stuff here, wouldn't it make me rich, or would it make me rich? Yeah, probably. Is there anything upstairs yet? There's still this guy, talking about the SSN. Um... It's really not clear what to do in this game. A lot of the time, I feel like. I'm surprisingly... taken aback. What am I supposed to do, though? For realsies. Um, I really should respond to all my texts. <laughs> just keep, just keep going up in the corner. Oh, you don't want to talk to me about the SSN anymore. If you're looking for Stern, that would be me. Ah. Those must be the parts I ordered for Mr. Stone from the Devon. Whatever. Thank you for bringing this. Uh, thank you for bringing the case all the all this way. Now we can prepare for our expedition at last. Man, I can't read today. 
Oh, look at these lackeys. Look at them, like, lean forward. Look at that terrible posture. They're like this. How sad. <laughs> Hold up a moment. We'll be taking those. What? What is that? Who are you people? We're Team Aqua. Our boss wants you to part the... Wants the parts in that case. So shut your yap and fork it over. Fork you. That's what I gotta say. Team Aqua. Aqua da vida. Team Aqua Grunt. See, I would have liked a doubles battle right there. There's two of them. Would have been nice. Beldum. We're gonna, um... Man, this guy kinda... This guy kinda has me a little bit. I can't hit him. Both of my attacks hit him not very effective. And he's a higher level than me. And he can hit me super effective. Let's go for an iron defense here. He goes for the assurance. Wow! Okay, holy what? I almost just lost Beldum just there. Okay, let's switch. Let's switch. Um. Oh man, let's go into Broloom. Oh my goodness, that was really close. I would have been so upset if I had to get rid of uh, if I had to get rid of him there. He goes for the assurance again. Not quite a two-hit KO. Good. I'm going to set up the Leech Seed here. He goes for another Assurance. 29 brings me down to 10. He's hitting me for 19. I'm seated. Can I earn back more than 9 health? It looks like no. Shoot. Um... Okay, this guy is just decimating my team. Let's bring in Chill. I feel like Chill can can take this Carvana out. God, he has so much attack. So much attack for an NFE Pokemon. He goes for the Assurance again. Please don't be a two-hit KO. It's not even close. Chill looks like the kind of beast that we've been looking for all along. Uh, a little help from Broloom gets my health back up. Just a just a smiggledy bit. And we're gonna go with um, we're gonna go with a cut here, so that we're not hitting him not very effective. With the only other attack we have is a dark type attack. I get hit a little bit from the rough skin, but that is game blouses. This Carvana goes down, giving me a lot of trouble. And uh, no no level ups, despite that. Whoa, 640 poke again. Maybe now I can afford the the thing. Oh man, beat by a brat. Oh man, what a disaster. The boss is gonna be furious. Huh, <laughs> sniveling wimp. Stand back and watch me, the 27th strongest member of Team Aqua, take care of this kid. 27th strongest. I wonder if that means we're gonna... Should I keep track? Should I keep track of how many Team Aqua grunts I fight on the way from now until winning the game? God, it seems like a lot of work. I swear I would forget for sure. So he leads with a Zubat. Beldum is not in good shape and unfortunately was my lead. Let's bring Chill back in here. Chill, Chill handled business earlier and um, I only feel safe leading with weaker Pokemon so that I can bring him out. I don't feel like switching him in. The Supersonic. It's going to be one of these get, one of these days, guys. So let's go for the let's go for the cut here. Silk Scarf Cut Attack. I hit myself in confusion. Of course I do. And we go for the Wing Attack. Let's try this again. I absolutely hate confusion. I just wish it wasn't in the game. I hit myself again. Nah. He goes for the Wing Attack again. Let's try this one more freaking time here. Obviously, I can't stay in now that I've just been... Oh, so what? Oh, I just... I wish Confusion wasn't in the game. That and Freeze. There's just... It's just so frustrating. It's just so incredibly frustrating. I cannot stand it. It bothers me so much. I almost lost Chill right there. You guys don't even understand how angry I would have been if I'd lost Chill right then. I would... Furious is, is the answer. Oh my god, four in a row! Four in a row! It's 25% chance of occurring, of hitting yourself in confusion. I've gotten four of them in a row. I snapped out of confusion. Thank goodness. 
Wow, I am livid. I am an upset little guy right now. Carvana is coming out. So uh, let's just keep battling. Um, he's gonna, oh man, he's just gonna hit me so hard with that assurance. Uh, let's, uh, let's just go for the tackle. And Carvana luckily does go down and we take a little rough skin damage, but that's okay. Miguel coming up strong here. Definitely the, uh, the reason that we were able to take care of that Carvana. That is, that is nuts how much, how difficult that was. My entire team is basically decimated right now. I gotta get some, uh, I gotta get some different Pokemon in here. He beat the 27th strongest Grunt Team Aqua. N now what? If we don't get the case, we're in for it. Arg! I never thought we'd be stopped by some meddling kid. Exclamation mark. What's going on here? Another Team Aqua guy? Wearing a wetsuit? What do we have here? I came to see what was taking so long just to steal a few parts. But I find you simps getting beat by this kid. Heh. <laughs> That's quite a fierce expression for such a wee little scamp. The face tells me you're not just another mindless trainer brat. The name's Archie. The rough looking lot you see here are members of my team. Team Aqua. So tell me, boy -o, Do you know what Pokemon people and all life in this world depend on the sea for life? That's right. The sea is an irreplaceable treasure for everything on this planet. But with our selfish extravagance, humanity dirties the great ocean, destroying the source of all life. Day by day, we're destroying our most precious resource. If we humans suffer from our actions, well, maybe we'll end up getting what we deserve. But what about the Pokemon in our world? The Pokemon that no longer have a place to live because we stole and soiled their seas. The Pokemon that won't have a place to raise their young and watch them grow. We are creating the world for these innocent Pokemon as a result of all our actions. And that is something that I can't forgive. That's why I came to a decision, see? The foolish actions of my fellow humans. The seas we have blighted. Nature itself. I will return everything to its unspoiled beginnings. Heh! <laughs> it's not like me to talk so much. Never mind, little scamp. I'll withdraw from now and leave you be. But understand this. Get in my way again, and you won't walk away unscathed next time. Remember that, at least. We're moving out, lads. <laughs> Young man, ah, Geo, is it? That was quite a tense situation. Thanks for helping me out. Ah, yes, I forgot that you brought parts for, from Devon. Brought the parts from Devon. Sorry, my screen is covering up the words. Geo handed over the Devon parts to Captain Stern. This is it. I can't be standing around here. It's finally time for us to set out on our ocean floor expedition. Thank you for this, and excuse me. Hmm. All right. Let's, uh, let's go heal up, I think. Or do I need to go into town? Looks like all the Team Rocket grunts are gone. It cost me 50 Poke Yen to do that. That little mission. Should I go back to, uh... Yeah, let's go have a look at what's going on in here. Maybe this guy will thank me for helping him. Hey, Mr. Briny agreed to join us and lend us his knowledge and expertise. The help of a legendary sailor means the fairy plans are really coming together. Okay. What about the great upstairs? Got anything going on here? Looks like a little vending machine. Got a scientist. Hmm. I don't think it's strange that a ship made of iron floats because there's a lot of not iron in a ship. The entire hull essentially is just air we're just chillaxing here you're an adventurer aren't you you've been to the sea no uh-huh sea mobile is a unique place it's it's a building yet it's also a natural preserve if you seek adventure you should go there oh i will i certainly will there's some dogs putting about outside my house um outside my door house yeah guys i got a job how exciting is that huh I am now an employed registered nurse. I'm really excited. You can't tell because I'm just so engrossed with this game. All right, I'm gonna heal up and then we're gonna we're gonna head out of this town. I'm sorry about the um, sorry about the contest. I told you guys I'd be doing a contest, and unfortunately, uh, that is not the case just yet. So I apologize for that. 
Uh, I do. I am very apologetic for that. But what can we do? I didn't know going into telling you guys that I was going to do... Oh, no, 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 nay, nay. Nay. We, um, we got to go to the marketplace first. Because I'm going to buy that thing. Is this the one that sold it? Fragrant incenses. Yes, I'm buying a luck incense. I'm going to make an investment in my future. And we are going to give that to the lead party Pokemon. Beldum, you are not the lead party Pokemon right now. Uh, yes, you are. And we're going to take the Quick Claw from you. Let's uh, let's actually move it. Let's give it to Breloom for now. Broloom. And let's give you a Lax in No, a Luck Incense. Meanwhile, we're going to organize all this by name. And boom, we are golden. We are going to be earning twice as much money now. It's better to get that early, I always say. As early as possible to get that double get that double money coming. And I don't know when the amulet coin is coming. So let's uh, let's head on out north where we did last episode. We are stopped. Is it May? It's not May. It's some uh, some dude. Hey, that's Lisa and, uh, Licia and Ali doing a shoot over there. What? Are you serious? Lisa Ali? Let's go. Le Lisaia? Alicia. All right, we've got what looks to be like a little honey boo boo child. Hi, everybody. Alicia here. Me and my Altaria Ali have have come to Slateport City's Contest Spectacular Hall for a bit of fun. Ali Lee Lee. It says. Well then, watch me as I dive right in again today. Yeah, dazzling, dizzying, doldrums defying. Dazzling, dizzying, dazzling, dizzying. Alright, she's got like a little honey boo boo slutty dance. Lisa's miraculous contest scouting start. Lisi, scout me to be your next boyfriend. Lisa, Ollie, alrighty. I'm gonna bring another fantastic trainer into the wild world of contesting. Eeny, meeny, miny. Oh, come on, pick me. You there, watching me with that baffled expression on your face. Hi! Have you never joined in a contest? That's just what I want to hear. I didn't. She didn't tell me to come follow her. I just did that on my own. Then let's get the show on the road. This is the trainer I'm going to scout today. And his name is... Geo. When I take a good look, I could easily see that Geo is a powerful trainer with several badges of his own already. Geo, you can enjoy contest spectaculars at the Pokemon contest hall right here. Now listen up, because I don't want you seeing your Pokemon make too strong. I want you to bring a whole new outfit to their own brilliant side to show them off. So, here you go. Take these. This is a contest pass, which is the first thing that brings anyone into part in the contest spectacular. And this is one of the Pokeblocks. Everyone you get another Pokeblocks and one of your Pokemon out of berries. Thank you for that. Oh, God, that was a lot of talking. My voice is getting hoarse. Uh, uh. Excuse me, I need some water. But I don't have it. Geo's story begins today. Yep. And this chapter should be titled... Slutty Dance. Honey Boo Boo Child. A Sudden Encounter. Miraculous Contest Scouting. That's what I'd call it. Now, everybody out there watching, you better expect great things from Geo, because I do. That's it for today. Alicia's Miraculous Contest Scouting. See you all next time. I'll tire Clap, clap, clap. Lisa, you're so cute. Rapist over here trying to hit on this 10 year old girl. If you feel up for it, try your hand in a contest for me, okay? Tee hee. Okay, I certainly will because I told you guys I would. Uh, that's what we're gonna do, and that's gonna be how we end this episode. We would have done the uh, Slateport yard, all the Slateport will be done at that point. So let's go in here, head up to the front. We see Alicia is standing here. Oh, Gio, thank you for playing along back there. I guess it was quite a shot, huh? Don't mind that. Contests really are fantastic, you know. I'm sure you'll get hooked on them. Okay, let's not talk to any of these kids. Let's just get into a content. No. Uh, she seems... Oh, Geo. Could it be? Oh, could it? Could it? Are you really going to try a contest for me? Oh, I'm happier than a gloom with a sunstone. That evolves it. Ah, uh, I know. This chapter of our story should definitely be called... Honey Boo Boo Slutty Dance Go! My Big Beginning, a Heart Pounding Contest Debut. That's what I'm calling it. Ooh, if you're gonna take the stage, you gotta come with me first. Oh my goodness. 
You know how to do contests, Alicia. This is crazy. So, if you're taking contest spectacular, I hear footsteps. I think I think my sister's boyfriend may be home. If you are taking on a contest spectacular, there's something you have to have for me. Teehee, I know it's sudden, sorry. Truth is, you're actually the 100th trainer that I've scouted, Geo. That's a really big deal, you know? It's gotta be fate, right? Teehee, I think you're just the trainer I've been looking for. Okay. Oopsie, sorry, I got a little carried away, but, um... The point was, would you like to, well, do you think, um, want to wear this for your contest debut? Contest costume. Okay. Okay. What? I look ridiculous. So cool. Oh, wow. It's perfect for you. Eee! I just can't wait. You're the first time lying on a contest stage here. It's going to be so, so, so awesome. I'm not going to blink for even a second. Your eyes are going to dry out. If you're wearing contact lenses, they're going to fall out. Phew, you look so fantastic in the outfit. I'm about to lose it here. You have to wear this contest costume. It'll be perfect for the contest, promise. That's it. I'll be cheering for you. Okay. Let's get it going. This is like a dressing room. I don't feel comfortable being in here with you, little, like, little girl. So let's move over here. And, uh... Looks like you brought your contest pass. Keep on trying until we, until you become a contest star. Before we begin, some advice for first time. During the contest, your Pokemon will show the audience just how lovely it is. First up is the introduction round. The appearance of a Pokemon that have raised their coolness, cuteness, and other conditions with Pokeblocks will be judged. After that, oh, after the introduction round, it's time for the talent round. Time for competition to determine how well Pokemon can use their moves over the course of five turns. Use moves that match the conditions of the contest to make the audience go crazy. If you check the moves of the Pokemon that you want to put in the contest, you can see that they're split into five conditions. Coolness, cuteness. If you're in a contest the same title as the condition and you're paid with the crowd, you can place Fang in the normal rank contest. You can win your way through higher ranks. Very well. Show the judges. Blah, blah, blah. Have you participated in any contest nearby? Let's enter. <coughs> okay. Who do we want to enter? Summary. Um, I can't really tell. Oh, there we go. So we've got cool, tough, clever, and tough. Prevents the user from being startled. Quite an appealing move. Quite an appealing move. Okay, so I'm pretty sure Beldum is set set to make some moves. Quite an appealing move. And looks like uh, Chill is also in a pretty good position. Oh, cute. Works great if the user goes last this turn. Quite an appealing move. Okay. Brings down the energy of any Pokemon that have already used a move this turn. So Miguel, actually, we're going to have you do this. Um, oh, no, what did I do? Oh, God, no, please don't make me go through that entire conversation again. Okay, good. So Miguel's going to be first in on this contest. Become a leader? Uh, let's just, what? Join a group, right? Oh, this is... Is this online? I can't just do, like, a local contest? Oh, my goodness. This is a lot of work. Um, <laughs> let's keep going. Yes, let's enter. Please select the Pokemon. It's going to be Miguel. Which category? Oh, uh, it was cuteness, I think. How about rank? Yeah, we're going to do a normal rank. My entry number is four. Right this way, please. A change to my contest costume. Cool. 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 <laughs> Let's, uh... Ooh. Cuteness contest. Normal rank. Adeline and win. Alright, we're going up against a Pelipper, guys. Wingle. Pelipper. Pelipper! Liliana and Gulligan. Gulpin. Going up against a Gulpin. Dude, we're way cuter than that. Mudkip's way cuter than effing Gulpin, although the crowd seems pretty pumped. Asher and Visikoth. Visikoth, the Slackoth. And me, yeah, with Miguel, the mudkip. He likes to wrestle around in the dirt. 
beating people up. Talent round, start! Which move am I going to use as my first appeal move? Hmm. Let's go with Water Gun. That's quite an appealing move. Oh, no, I go last! Oh, man! Shoot, that would have been a much better... Um, much better move. It tried to dazzle the audience, but it failed. Anticipation is swelling for a combo. Water pulse. One, two, three. It dazzled the audience. It used yawn. <laughs> and it only got two. Oh, man. Oh, man. It really excited the audience and it bought an extra heart. I'm too nervous to make a move? Come on. <sighs> Looks like I'm still going last. Works great if the user goes last. Okay, let's do it then. Let's go for a growl. Hopefully I don't... Showed its appeal using Encore. Man, that wasn't fair. Ugh. Anticipation is swelling. It really excited the audience. Got an extra... Man, this Slackoth is killing it right now. Goldblum was too nervous to move. Wingle used Mist. Should protect it from something, right? It's completely oblivious. Okay, yeah, so that's just a protection move. But now I get to go last. Growl. How cute is that, huh? Look at that. I got a lot of hearts. Hadn't been standing out, but now I really excited the audience with that one. And I got an extra heart? Look at me. Comeback possible, Miguel. Looks like I'm first this time. Uh, the Slackoth is going next, so uh, brings down the energy of any Pokemon that have already used a move this turn. Unfortunately, I don't have a jam. I don't have a jamming move, so I'm just gonna go for the wa I'm just gonna go for the Water Gun here. Um, it did say jamming next to it though. Got a, an easy four piece, and I really excited the audience. I feel like someone's gonna step up to the plate and steal this uh, final exciting audience thing. Tries to show his appeal with counter. I went for a water gun. You shouldn't be able to counter me. He only got two from that. It went over well with the audience. What? But the toughness didn't go well. He Oh, he's disappointing people. We've already seen the water pulse, but we didn't see it back to back, so I don't know. What do you guys think? I think I'm doing alright here, even though I got jammed the first turn. Gulpin uh, goes for the Toxic. That's not very cute. You're not very cute, Gulpin. <laughs> kind of a jerky thing to say. I try to pump people up. Anticipation is swelling for a combo next turn. Hmm. Hopefully I go last. I go first again. Brings down the energy of any Pokemon that have already gone this turn. I... If I use Water Gun again... Man, it sucks to go... First twice and last twice. Let's, uh... Oh, man. I'm gonna go with... Uh, I, just, I gotta go with Mud Slap, I think. It's worth three. It's not worth me going for Water Gun again, because it's just gonna... I'm just gonna lose points for, doing, for going stale. It failed to taunt the Pokemon, but I did excite the audience, so that'll net me an extra heart. So I got four this turn. So I've gone six, five, and four in my last few turns. But this slack off is killing it, though. It failed. Okay, anticipation is swelling for a combo. But he excited the audience, and he just stacked it. He's going to get a bunch for that. Is it just one? Yep. This is it. Time for a spectacular talent. Man, I wanted to be the one to do that. Oh my goodness, this guy's killing it. He's going to murder this competition. Man, 
You did your best, Miguel, but I'm not sure how we're going to compete with this guy. The slack off is decimating the competition. It's oblivious to other people's moves, but I think I think we're done, aren't we? It looks like I'm going second this turn, right after the slack off. I've done this before. Ugh. Let's just go for the water gun here. Um, I would have liked to bring down the energy of a Pokemon who already used a move, but unfortunately, I'm not going last. So, water gun's probably the right move for me. Counter. But I, nothing's happened yet, so that's not good, right? Its toughness didn't go over well. That's good. I'm going to show my appeal with water gun here. And give me a star. Yes. Good. So I get an extra heart here. I pulled a five this turn. I pulled a... I'm gaining on Slack off, I think. He's going to go for a Toxic. That's going to earn him a three-piece. And uh, Anticipation swelling for a combo now, it looks like. Water Pulse. Yeah, this Wingle's been on top of using that Water Pulse consistently, but it's not been earning that much for him. I tried to dazzle the audience, and it uh, looks like it didn't didn't go over well. So the talent round is now complete. Um, what are we heading into now? The results page. So I definitely didn't win the introduction round because I haven't fed my guy any Pokeblocks. Oh! <laughs> I've managed to just barely take it from Asher and Visikoth. Oh, man. That was close. That was really close. Uh, let's see whether or not we get anything here. Congratulations. Geo's Pokemon performed the best. Next time you get into the Pokemon in the Super Rank. No way. Not yet, buddy. Please be sure to enter the next rank, too. We'll be waiting for you. Oh, by the way, someone else is waiting for you in the green room. Right over there. Okay. Is that, uh... Is that Lycia? Geo, wow, grats. I watched it all. You were great. Honey Boo Boo. I really did it. A star is born. That's what I'm calling it. Geo, you gotta keep up the pace and just go as far as you can go. Become a real contest star. If you could have as much fun with contest spectaculars as me, I'd be happy as a slug on a sunny day. You could be a massive star. I've got a good feeling about you. Well, guys, that's going to be the end of this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know that you're liking the series. If you have watched it until this point, what do you guys think? What is, is there anything you want me to be doing differently? Uh, if you want a layout, I was thinking about that a little while ago. I could probably put one together easily. Just let me know in the comment section down below. As always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.